2. Pig's Data Model In this lecture, I'm going to teach on two broad data types of Apache Pig. First is the scalar data types, and the second, complex data types. By the end of this video, you will have good understanding on the data types that are supported by Apache Pig. You will be able to declare appropriate data types for the fields in the input file. Scalar data types. Some of the common scalar data types are int, long, float, double, byte array, and char array. Int. Integer numbers are declared as this data type. They store 4 byte signed integer. For example, 17. Long. A long integer which stores 8 byte signed integer. For example, 7 billion. Float. They store 4 byte floating point numbers. The numbers are appended with an F at the end. For example, 5.23F. Double. They store 8 byte floating point numbers. This has double precision. For example, 10.5. Byte array. A blob array or array of bytes. If you won't describe a data type for a column, it is declared as byte array by default. Char array. A string or character array. They are expressed within single quotes. For example, John. Let's try declaring some of these data types in Apache Pig. I have an HDFS file, and I am giving fs-cat command to display the contents of that HDFS file. We normally declare the data types while loading the dataset into Pig. Say I need to load this file into an alias in Pig. All I'm going to do is type the load statement. We will see in detail on the load statement in our next lecture. However, for now let us focus on declaring the data types. Here I am using as schema part for declaring the data types. Each variable name and the corresponding data type are separated by colon. After executing the load statement, we can verify it by using the describe operator. We are going to look in detail on the describe operator also later. However, for now, I'm using describe A to see the schema associated with the alias A. This shows that the data type is associated to fields as we declared it. This is how we can declare variables in Apache Pig. Now that we've seen about the scalar data types, let's explore some of the complex types. Complex data types. The three complex data types available for pig are tuple, bag, and map. Tuple. A tuple is a collection of fields, normally separated by commas. It can have one or multiple fields. Tuple is enclosed in round braces. Each field can be of any data type. Each field can have data, or it can be empty as well. For example, Chris, 32, $7,000, is a tuple. Bag. A bag is a collection of tuples. A bag is enclosed in curly braces. For example, here is the bag. It is a collection of tuples, and you could also see it is enclosed with curly braces. Map. Map is a set of key value pairs. The key and values are separated by hashtag. Maps are enclosed in square braces. Each key should be unique. In other words, there can be only one record tuple for each key. For example, here is the map. Key and values are separated with hashtag. Let's explore these complex data types in Grunt Console. I'm having an HDFS file. And let's visit the contents of the HDFS file using cat command. It contains 1, 2, 1, 5, and 3, 6. I am loading this into an alias called A using load statement.
Let us display the contents of the alias A using dump operator. Here the number 1, 2 is a tuple. Similarly, 1, 5, 3, 6 are tuples. Next, I'm going to group the values based on the first field. Let me apply the group operator to group the values. Then I'm applying dump operator on the alias B. Now you can see it is grouped based on the first value. Here, the first field is of int data type. The second field is of complex bag data type. Because the second field itself contains collection of tuples. I am loading another HDFS file into an alias C to show the map, which is also a complex data type. Next, I'm using for each statement to get the value by passing the key. D equals for each C generate. Here, I'm passing the key as CA. Let me apply dump operator on D. This gives the value of the key, CA, as California. This is how you can create maps in Grunt Console and extract the value for a key. In this video, we saw the two data types of Apache Pig's data model, the scalar data type and complex data types. In the next video, we will learn on how to load data from a file and also how to store the data back into a file from Pig.